you're listening to it came from the radio and you know this is dr feldy i'm here with a very very talented man musician singer producer and genetic you know every weekend he hosts 97.3 the heat urban mix party it's live from long island new york spinning today's hip-hop r&b latin top 40 crossover latin hip-hop and r&b he also hosts dna sports on espn 97.3 welcome to it came from the radio hey how you guys doing out there we're doing great we're doing great i, I don't know i'm trying to answer from the audience <laughs> perspective now let's get right into it now we worked on two songs together we might work on five we might work on one we might get in a big fight and then never work on anything we might work on 20 songs we don't know what the future holds but i've seen you produce songs quickly you just simply had how you had a song i did some overlays i'm pretty quick with it too Uh, we're pretty quick together now how did you learn to produce music and to produce them so damn quickly well, basically, I got to give a big shout out to my pops, Eddie Rocky Rivera, as well as Charles Hamilton. I got to give him a big props. Even Keith Murray, I got to give him a big props. A lot of these people really showed me how to really produce music. Charles is a, the first one to ever show me how to really produce music so quick. Just being around him, he he's a phenom. That dude can literally make, uh, I believe, an album an hour. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 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 He just has this gift that I, I I can't even explain. Like the first time I was ever really in the studio with him, he banged out 32 records, less than six hours. So so 30, when you say records, just for our, you say records, but songs. a lot of people will say songs, just so our listeners can follow with you. Now, do you think that he shows up with phrases Already in his head, already written down. Is that one way to he make does, things go faster? He does everything off the head. So everything just comes to him in those six hours. Everything he did comes 32. off the head. Wow. All just, right. Yeah. Does a hook in one shot that he told me how to do basically a 16, a hook. It's a single record, a bridge, then the other 16, and that's, and that's how you cap off. Now, how? what are some ways that you can speed up the process of making a song? What are like three different ways we can make it a little bit faster? To be ma- to make a record? Yeah. Um, I go off a lot of times of emotions. I go off of basically how the day made me feel. Um, people think I'm weird sometimes because I go off the beat. So the beat sometimes, and I tell artists, and don't think I'm crazy for this, listen to what the beat tells you to do. Don't make it like, don't do it yourself. You know what I mean? That's what made me so strong is people think that it's me literally coming out and doing the crazy verses off the head, but it's me just following that type of energy that the beat gives off. Right. Right. Like you, and I also made a song with your dad. I feel like, you know, some people, they speak art. That's their way of communicating. I've always been heavy with the words. Other people speak musically. Other people don't speak much, but then they'll make a movie and they speak through that. I feel like one of the ways that you and your dad speak, it's like music is your language. So it's the music is communicating something through you and you pick up on things, you pick up on vibes. And then instead of coming in, superimposing your own lyrics and your own meaning to the lyrics, you you actually respond and almost have a conversation, a relationship with the beat. That's what I've noticed personally, working with both of y'all. Is that accurate, you think? or well, nice. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's um the third one I was getting into. When you're speaking to the beat and you're speaking to, and if people understand this, but it's real, when you're speaking to the sonic in music, it, it will change the dynamics because the way that you, it's like, I always put it as, it's like a tone. Say if you like somebody, your tone changes. If you Uh, don't like somebody, your tone doesn't change. So when I rhyme on a beat, it's not basically a lot of times it's me per se really going. It's it's how the beat is basically coming off. Like a fast beat might come off more energy. I might come off more energy. A slow beat, mm -hmm. I'm going to come melodic, but I'm going to come more gentle to it. It's like the beat, people don't understand the beat kind of sounds like it has feelings. You know what I mean? It's like a person. Right, for sure. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, it has an energy. So like, 
That's what I'm talking about. The the beat brings everything out, and when you speak from your heart, people will uh, people will literally connect to that more mm-hmm. than you sitting there and then you just rapping. Right. I mean, I've definitely found that in stand up. I've gone up there and kind of phoned it in just once, and you could tell people were into it. But then other times, I'm real into it. I'm feeling the material, and it's a different energy when you're really connected and feeling something rather than just speaking words but anyway we're gonna move away from this go right to espn i gotta ask you some questions so now you working with espn what do you actually do with them well we got our own show and it's, it's a branch off of espn called south jersey mm-hmm. um south jersey espn 97.3 fm me and me and althea my lovely wife we have um the sports show, the sports podcast, and what we do is we do the analysts, we talk about sports, talk about the recaps, and um, it's pretty cool, actually, to actually have a show with my wife doing sports. So they, they like that whole idea. They like that whole pitch. It, they, they like it's different. So it, it's a blessing, you know? Well, she's a great and host. She's a great host. She's been killing it on DNA. You know what I mean? She's been pushing me to the limit that I need to. Ladies and gentlemen, men, if you guys listen to this, if you have a strong woman, follow your dreams, your dreams will come true because that woman ain't going to stop until she sees you Mm -hmm. make it. Either way, I mean, man too. A man could be a pusher. uh, I mean, traditionally speaking, I guess a lot of people say you have to have a good woman behind you. But I've I've had some good men behind me as well. Well, yeah, it's important to have a partner that supports your goals uh, mentally, emotionally, and physically, I believe. And and if you could actually do things together in a partnered way that you two do and work so well together, it's a real beautiful thing. You could have some great synergy. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. So now going back to mm-hmm. songs, Go ahead. what do you think are three to five characteristics of a good song? That's a good question. It depends on one. It depends on the beat. It depends on the sonics. That's the rhythm. And it depends on the topic. It depends on how good of a songwriter the person is. Like some songs, you could say the most simplest thing, but if the person had, it projects it out in a different way, you're going to want to listen to it. You know, it depends all the time. Uh, three keys, the beat, the melody, lyrics, three key. Beat, melody, lyrics. Beat, melody, lyrics. All right, going back to the communication of music. To me, music is communication, and arguably, uh, you can you can communicate with some people better if there's a little bit of music involved in. I find a lot of ways if I even make my voice more musical, I find that people respond better and they get what I'm saying rather than if I just say, ah, yes, and there's no beat, no sway, no rhythm to my voice. Now, what specific messages do you share through your music? My life journey how to fix a certain problem, always try to give a situation, always try to make a song that has the problem solved. Never sit there and leave anybody confused of the matter. And I like to express who I am. Who are you? What What, what are you expressing that music? Who are you? What message? Like where I came from, like where I came from when I did the anti-bullying, human rights. You know, I try to give people, like when they listen to it, I try to give them substance, something that they're going to leave with. You know, I don't, I don't do, okay, yeah, there's some times I do the club records and the club songs to have a good time, but my music was always about trying to change, just trying to change the world's perspective in a lot of things. I see that. I see that. You know what? Before we go to controversy, I have one controversial question. We're going to do it next, but before that, a lot question. What are three things not to do to produce a good song? Not to do. First off, <laughs> not tell anybody this. First off, don't lie in your music. Ah. Second off, don't betray who you are. And third off, 
just don't fake the funk. <laughs> yeah, I like that. The question, like sometimes, you know, I spend all this time in the dentist office. You know, I used to be a dentist, but now I do lip injections and Botox. But still, I'm with patients all the time and I need to get away from that. So what if I wanted to take on a persona, like an alternate persona? Would that be lying? Would that be lying? So you're saying take over, like, like basically become a character that you're not? Uh, like, you know, arguably maybe Nicki Minaj. Like, that was not a real character. She created this thing. It, it, like an alternate personality. Would that be lying or would that be truthful? Would that be lying. breaking the law? So so maybe to make a good song, you shouldn't be lying. You shouldn't be doing it in any type of character, you're saying. Well, you got to remember, too, certain it's certain levels to it. Like you might be signed to a major label right? and they might not like the records you're making, but they love your image. So they might hire somebody who has a different background than you and a different, you know, movement than you. And that's how they create this character. And when they create okay. the character, can it be different? Can it be fossilized? Sometimes, but it depends on what kind of product you're moving and where you come, not really where you come from, your persona and what you're trying to do. Like there's plenty of rappers, right? Plenty of singers, well, musicians that are not the person that you see on the television. Right. Now, you could put it in two different ways. You could put it to as being an actor and like making a fictional character up. Okay, now I see where you're going with. That's fine. But in reality, that in reality, is faking the funk. That's why you're seeing a lot of them fall off. Hmm. Everybody in music's a character. Hmm. That's not your real name. Hmm. Most of the time, that's not how you act. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because most of the time, people can't turn it off. I had a great conversation with one of my boys the other day. And he's supposed to be the tough, dun da da, running around. Woo, 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 woo. I went to school with the kid. You know what I'm saying? Right. He's calm, cool, and collected, but that's the persona it makes you push it out. So is that bad in music, or does that make bad music, or what do you think about that? In his case, it's all right, because, again, that's a character. Okay. And you're not trying to say you're from the streets, and you're not trying to go crazy with it. You're just being yourself. Nicki Minaj, she was made up. Right. She was put into the industry. I call it the industry machine to make a product. It pushed. That's it. But I'm going to say something real quick. If you see somebody else took her crown, not took, but somebody else challenged her, Cardi right. B. Right. And do you see Cardi B falling off? Because that's Cardi B. She's right. not a character. That's card that's real Cardi's personality. Did Nicki Minaj fall off in your mind? She's not as powerful as she once was. All right, God. Moving on to the next because we're almost out of time. There's a short interview. Could you give aspiring singers or rappers some tips? Yeah. Just stay true to yourself. Keep moving. Listen to the music. And if nobody if somebody um People might not like it, right? But all you gotta do is keep on moving because, again, people put uh people. I keep stumbling. I mean, hold up. People put down Jay Z, right? And then Jay Z went to every label and they didn't even take him. So that's what I always think about when everyone goes says, "You're not you're not gonna be that person that everyone's gonna like in the beginning." Like, woohoo, yeah, this is great. You gotta earn your stripes, and that's how it goes. Do you do you know how long it took Jay Z to get? Get popular? I don't know. I don't remember. Well, put it this way. He was back in 1989. 87. 87, I think. Oh, really? He, Sorry. he got famous in 1990. I'm going to say 1998. Right. All right. So, yeah, it could be a 10, 12-year grind before anyone knows who you are. It's possible. That's a the good average, point. Well, mm -hmm. the, average, the average person to become known is five years. Five years. Five years. And I think for comedy, stand up comedy, a lot of them get known like eight years, 10 years, some of them five, but a lot of them tend to get polished, find their voice, get known. 
it's, it's, it's a lot of similarities between the, the musical business and the, the comedy business as a stand up. And you know what? That concludes our interview because I got another patient knocking on my door. She wants to get some lip injections. So if you want to get hmm. your lips plumped up, come to me. I don't got my lips done, you can see, but I do on other people. You got you got full lips already. You don't need anything from me. Although I wouldn't mind taking your money. And on that note, back to more. It came from the radio. Thank you very much. And Angelic, Angelic, I almost forgot to find out. Tell our listeners where to find you. What's your social? You can go on Google, put on E N J E T I C. You can hit me up on my email at D J E N J E T I C. Definitely download the DNA app. That's DNA ampersand A digital media. Thank you so much for having me on the show, Doc. Thank you very much. I'm sorry. I think the Novocaine is getting to my brain. All right, Mark Torres, back to you in the studio.